Welcome boys and girls to, to Storytime with Preacher Leon. It's so good to see each of you and thank you for joining in with us here this morning. Uh, we're coming uh, to you from the Kannapolis Cannonballers Stadium. This is the playground area that they have here and it's open um, each day and they close it three hours before game time. Uh, maybe your parents uh, don't and we'll try to maybe as a church to come up to a game. It's just a beautiful place. Got a lot of different things. Uh, for uh, boys and girls, but also for moms and dads to just come out and enjoy an evening at the ballpark. So it's uh, so good to see you here. Let me share with you a wonderful story here uh, here this morning. Uh, it's called Operation No More Tears. This is taken out of the book of Isaiah, five or six chapters of the book of Isaiah, in fact. Uh, let me share this with you, if I may. <clears throat> Do you know what your name means? Well, there was once a man called Isaiah, and his name meant God to the rescue. That might sound a bit uh, of a funny name to you, but it was just the right name for Isaiah because God had a special job for Isaiah. You see, Isaiah's job was to listen to God and to tell the people what God said. Now, God let Isaiah know a secret. God was going to mend his broken world. He showed Isaiah his secret rescue plan. Operation, no more tears. This is the message God gave Isaiah. It was like a letter that God wrote to his children. So let me share with you a little example of what this letter might have looked like. Dear little flock, <clears throat> you're wandering away from me like sheep in an open field. You have always been running away from me and now you're lost. You can't find your way back, but I can't stop loving you. I will come to find you. So I am sending you a shepherd to look after you and to love you and to carry you home to me. You've been stumbling around like people in a dark room, but into the darkness a bright light will shine. It will chase away all the shadows like sunshine. A little baby will be born, a royal son. His mommy will be a young girl who doesn't have a husband. His name will be Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us. He is one of King David's children's children's children, the Prince of Peace. Yes, someone is going to come and rescue you, but he won't be who anyone expects. He will be a king, but he won't live in a palace, and he won't have lots of money. He will be poor, and he will be a servant, but this king will heal the whole world. He will be a hero. He will fight for his people and rescue them from their enemies. But he won't have big armies and he won't fight with swords. He will make the blind to see. He will make the lame to leap like deer. He will make everything the way it was always meant to be. But people will hate him. They won't listen to him. He will be like a lamb. He will suffer and die. It's the secret rescue plan we made from before the beginning of the world. It's the only way to get you back. But he won't stay dead. I will make him alive again, God said. And one day when he comes back to rule uh, forever, the mountains and the trees will dance and sing for joy. The earth will shout uh, out loud. His fame will fill the whole earth as the waters cover the sea. Everything sad will come untrue. Even death is going to die and he will wipe away every tear from every eye. Yes, the rescuer will come. Look for him. Watch for him. Wait for him. He will come. I promise. Poor Isaiah. He read God's letter over and over to God's people, but no one listened to him at all, ever. They didn't want to hear God's promise. They didn't believe it. Did it sound maybe too good to be true? A story that ends happily ever after? Well, it does sound like a fairy tale, maybe to some, doesn't it? And as anyone will quickly tell you, fairy tales aren't true, or are they? Love God.
Boys and girls, isn't that a great story? And that is telling that Jesus Christ is coming and he's going to be born and he has already come and been born. So boys and girls, I hope that you that you like this story because it because this is a great about story about telling about God's prophet Isaiah and how Isaiah listened to what God was telling him to tell the people. Even though many of them did not listen, it was still that uh, the message was proclaimed and they knew that the day was coming that Jesus Christ would be born and he would give his life for each of us. Jesus loves you boys and girls and he loves your mom and dads and grandpa and grandmas and all your family. He loves you and he cares so dearly for you. So I hope that each of you as boys and girls that you'll just have a wonderful day and uh, we will see you next time. Let's go to the Lord in prayer before we, uh, before we leave. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day and the blessings you've granted to us. And every boy and girl and family that is listening to us now, Lord, I thank you for them. And ask, Lord, that you might just be with them and guide them and direct them. And may this be a great day. And may they uh, have a wonderful this coming week. So take care of them. Put that hedge of protection around them. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you, boys and girls, and we will see you next week. God bless.